the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved one, today is the first day of what God being Tuesday, and we 17 not that time of the church calendar year one. We thank God we are in the new month of August. We thank God who protected and guided us and blessed us throughout the month of July. We then commend ourselves to the hand of God this month, asking to guide and lead us this month. So that we this month be a month of thanksgiving and glory to him. Let nothing that is not of God have any hold on us this month. Our prayer for all of you, our beloved ones. We pray may this month be the month of redemption for all of us, especially in Nigeria. Today the my church celebrates St. Alphonsus Rigori. He's a bishop and doctor of the church. Our readings will be coming from the book of Exodus, chapter 33, verse 7 to 11, chapter 34, verse 5 to 9, and verse 28. Our response to Psalm will come from Psalm 103, verse 9, 8a. Our gospel message will come from Matthew Gospel, chapter 13, verse 36 to 43. The theme of our message is the word are worse evil and good people. The reward that are worse Good and evil people. If you're a good person, good rewards will come to you. If you're a bad person, evil rewards will come to you. Simple. Now why today Jesus took our time to explain to the, to the disciples when they asked him to explain the parable of the weeds. And he was telling them, the man who sowed the good seed is the son of man. And what he was, he sowed was the subject of the kingdom of God. And the field is the world. And the person who saw the, evil, who saw the bad weight are the subjects of the evil world. And who saw them is the devil. And we're telling them the people who will leap the harvest on the last day, the angels of God, they will gather the waste together and burn them in hell fire where they'll be gnashing and whipping of the teeth. They will gather the good seeds who are the subjects of the kingdom, who will shine out in the kingdom of God. He who has yes, you hear this one. It's clear. Choose which one you should go. He said that time he will gather all who causes sin, who are the cause of sin, and who are evildoers. He will gather all of them and say, explain it to them. So it will be on the last day, he will gather the good people to his kingdom of God, and will gather all who cause evil and who are source of sin, and throw them into a burning furnace, where they be weeping and gnashing of their teeth. At the end of the ages. So, you see what I wish you, to desire what you want to do. If you are good, good things will come from you. And if you are in God, good things from God will come to you. If you have the evil one, evil things will come from you. You will be a source of evil, source of sorrows and tears to people. Be a source of death. Be a source of other development. Be a source of mourning and sorrows because you're from the evil one. But here for God, you become a source of joy, a source of peace, a source of growth, a source of life, a source of blessing for anywhere you find yourself. I would just say bad tree cannot produce good fruit. Neither can a good tree produce bad fruits. By their fruits you shall know them. So that's what I wish you. Choose which one side to go. It's your own choice. You have the freedom to choose to be good, to belong to the evil ones or to the... God never created us for evil one. He's who chose to be for the evil one. He created us his own image. Confide Genesis 1 to 7. He created the image of God that you be of God. He redeemed you with his blood that you worship him and him alone. So if you decide to go to the path of the evil ones, that's okay for you. you get the reward. And now why today, God showed us in the book of Exodus how Moses will normally build a, a tent of meeting outside the camp. 
People who have God, seek God. And Moses will go to this tent, a tent of meeting where he will meet God. And then time he rose to go to the tent, all the Israelites will come out of their tents and stood by the door. And when Moses enters the tent, and the pillow crowd cover the tent, they will be bowed down and worship God. And Moses will be with the Lord, who is with him face to face. And Moses proclaimed God, and the Lord passed to him and said, look at what the Lord said to Moses, so that you know the God will worship. He said, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, a God of mercy and grace, a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in mercy and faithfulness, keeping merciful love for thousands, forgiving iniquities and transgressions and sin. But who will by no means clear the guilt, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and the children's children to the third and fourth generation? Is a forgiving God, is a merciful God, but will not clear any person of his iniquity. He will, he will visit you with it. So telling you, if you choose to evil, evil will, will be there what we visit, you will be visited with. We're told that Moses made his hands to bow down and worship God. And we're told Moses stayed there for 40 days and 40 nights without food. But he collected the Ten Commandments of God in the tablets. And Moses pleaded with God to stay with them, even though they're stiff necked people, that he showed them as their inheritance. Be them a people who obey him. You see, what follows the people who know God, who see God. People who have God, seek God, talk with God, live for God, obey God, keep to the word of God. Who are not of God, disobey God. And don't keep to the word of God. And don't seek God. See the consequence. And now why the same is one that's so well today say the Lord is compassionate and gracious. God who decided to give us this air of good and evil and want us to choose the good and never be subject of evil one, then he has said compassionate God and he's a gracious God. Have we known today that what are waste good and evil men, people, is advice that we choose to be a part of the good people of God. And now what the psalmist who understood this, this said, the Lord is compassionate and gracious. And now what we're celebrating today, St. Alfonso Sigori. St. Alfonso Sigori studied in that degrees in civil and canon law and was a, a professional lawyer. On the day to abandon all those things and became a Catholic priest. And when he became a Catholic priest, he was, was took the apostolate of the poor so, so deep in him. And his untiring writing and preaching put him apart. And he's a merciful confessor. He's, he set up an organization called the Most Holy Redeemer, the Redemptorist which is souring over the world today. We are told, when he was made a bishop, he had this apostolic, the multiplied in him, he set up the congregation to enhance the evangelization of the poor. So he was good, doing good, and sharing good to people, and making people to be good. He was made the patron saint of the Moral theologian, because he was a moral theologian. Born in 1698 and died in 1787. We're celebrating today because it's a good subject of the kingdom of God and it influenced the kingdom of God up to today. May God all help all of us to understand today that good, we are called for goodness and goodness are with us. And we should live for that. We ask through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us. I will celebrate our goodness in God and rejection of evil in our lives. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all. <laughs>